What is up guys, it is Barry Michael Doyle here and we're doing part 16 of this React Native Redux tutorial that we've been going through. We're almost done, we actually have like a working application going, but we haven't implemented these ads over here. So I've got a banner ad down here, and also if we click on the View Transposed Chords button, this chord model pops up, which we implemented in the last video, that's all working. And then when we close it, an interstitial ad will pop up. It just takes a bit of time to load in the first time, but hang on, any second now, there we go. And there's another ad going there. So I'm just going to hit no because I don't want to actually get that. Um, anyway, that said, I'm going to show you how we can get started in setting up these Facebook ads. And uh, this is going to be a warning, a pretty boring video because we have to do a whole bunch of account creation and setup. I'm going to skip through the boring parts and just sort of focus on the main core of what needs to be done. Anyway, let's head over to our browser. Right, so here we are and we are on Google. And what I'm going to do is go to developers.facebook. Dot com. I'm not going to type that in the description because it's pretty straightforward, just developers.facebook.com. And that will take us to a nice little page where I'm currently already logged in. I've, I've logged in as my own profile here and I've got my applications here. I uh, just want to mention that like I've been getting a lot of friend requests on Facebook from random people I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're your guys, so like it makes sense. But I just want to say that I kind of just use Facebook for my own personal friends that I use to make, like, go to events and plan things and stuff. So I, I'll be declining any invitations I get there. But if you do want to stay in touch, go to facebook.com slash Barry Michael Doyle and you'll get to my developer page. And there I put random updates all the time. And I might add a group later. Um, if you go to patreon.com, you should get to see... That you can support me there if you want to and once I get enough support there I'll actually open up a Facebook group where we can hang out and then then you can chat to me on Facebook also you can follow me on Twitter at Barry M Doyle and then on Instagram I post random life updates it's mostly about running because I'm running all the time you can go to instagram.com slash Barry Michael Doyle for that and I think that's all for now but just a heads up that's why I'm declining all your friend requests because I don't accept random people on Facebook but I accept you all over the other places so Cool. Anyway, what you need to do is add a new app. Now I've already added an app, Kappa Keys over here. So I'm not gonna go through that process. Just add a new app and follow the steps and name it whatever you want. I've named mine Kappa Keys. So here's my application. And once you've created your new app, you'll end up over here. Now you won't have any products here. So what you need to do is go add a product. And this should take you to a page where you're able to add some products. And sorry, let me zoom out a little bit. I want to zoom in to make it easier for you to see. But I've already added audience network, and that's what we need to add here. So you should have it up here somewhere. And make sure you add audience network, which is there for monetizing your mobile apps or website with native ads from loads of Facebook advertisers. Anyway, once you've created your, you've added your audience network, you can go click on it over here. And for me, it shows me my whole performance. This is just a warning that's been here since the latest changes of React Native and the Facebook SDK and stuff. I've already sorted those issues out. Expo has pretty much got you sorted. If you use Expo for your application development, it, it should be fine here. Yeah. And I've made like 59 cents in the past four weeks or so. So that's been pretty cool. Uh, you guys have ran, nobody's clicked in the past few days, but you make a couple of cents every day. I haven't got that many impressions, but... It's a nice way to make a little bit of cash. I mean, it's going to take me forever to make, but you know, if you guys make a famous app and have Facebook SDK's ads going on, yeah, you might make a pretty penny there. Anyway, what you need to do now is go to ad spaces. And again, I've already created the ad spaces. So I've created two ad spaces. I've created the interstitial ad space and the bottom banner ad space. And you just click on ad space and follow that. Then inside the ad spaces, you get um, placements that you have to create. And I've created the interstitial ad placement inside the interstitial ad space. And that's our whole details there. And then the same way I've created the placement for the bottom banner ad space. So there's my bottom banner placement. And they come with an ID, each of them come with an ID. And you pretty much, it's really straightforward. You just create a placement in each section and then follow the general steps. You can't really go too wrong there. Again, this might all change a little bit in the future, so I don't want to focus on it too much. Just make sure you get audience network and you go create some ad spaces and then ad placements inside the ad spaces. So yeah, they ask you stuff like how will it 
app, how will the ad trigger? And I just said open app, selected key and capper position, open modal, trigger ad on modal close. And I just wrote that and they were happy with that. Same way for the, the bottom banner ad, it was like run the app and show it on the main screen, all sorted. Anyway, that will give you the placement ID, which I'm going to copy and I'm going to put into my Visual Studio. So here I am at my, my code. And I'm just going to add it in here, interstitial, I probably spelled that right. In the, I spelled it completely wrong. I might have still spelled it wrong, but yeah. That's just going to be interstitial ID and then the banner ID I also want to add in. So let me head back over to my Chrome here. And we've got to get the placement ID there. So these are the only things you really need. So once you've set up these ad spots and placements, we're basically all sorted. Uh, let's head back to the code and just make sure we paste this in here. So what we're going to do later is we're going to have to go to the modal reducer and sort out the whole interstitial ad. How are we going to manage that on the modal closing and stuff? And uh, for the bottom banner ad, we're just going to create a component and then stick it in our... Um, our main navigator, where did we even put that? So we had our, our components and we had, we had modals, reducers, we had screens. So in the main screen, down here, we want to add at the bottom, actually we're going to add it over here, the bottom banner ad, that's where the bottom banner ad is going to go. And then the modal reducers over here, the modal reducer, we have to manage some stuff with, actually it's modal actions that we're sticking in. So the modal actions, we're going to manage some stuff here in the closed chords modal. And that's, that's what we're going to do in the next video is set up this interstitial ad. And then finally, we'll do the banner ad, and then we will close off this application by deploying it and sticking it onto the App Store. That all sound good? Anyway, if it does sound good, let me know in the comments below. Uh, the main important part of this video was I just wanted you to get those IDs and stuff going. So that said, I'm going to end the video here. But yes, as usual, please comment below. And let me save this. Sorry. Comment below, subscribe to the video, leave a like, really appreciate you doing all those things, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao!